Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 3rd of 2019. Well, it's titled unusual signal suggests neutron star destroyed by black hole. So what does this mean? Well, this is a short video clip simulating what may have happened based on detections by a gravitational wave event. Now, what are gravitational waves? Well, they are what is emitted when anything with mass moves. So if you're moving around, you emit gravitational waves. The Earth moving around the sun would emit gravitational waves. Any motion of any object with mass would give off these gravitational waves. And it was a prediction of Einstein's theory of general relativity over a 100 years ago, but only in the last couple of years has it been detected. So this uh, this de this detection here is another one from just a couple of weeks ago detected by LIGO and the Virgo detectors. And what they do is look for oscillations uh, in uh, materials and very sensitive observations that need to be made and made at multiple locations so that any local effects are eliminated. So what this suggests based on the observations here is that a neutron star was destroyed by a black hole. Now as you play this simulation and watch the video you will see the neutron star first in the foreground and then you'll see a flash to another side as the neutron star has been torn apart and is now spiraling into the accretion disk around the black hole. So this is what happens around the black hole. We can't get any information from the black hole itself. But as the material spirals inward, it can heat up within that accretion disk to extremely high temperatures, millions of degrees. And that is where the energy is given off and where we can actually see things. That is just outside the event horizon of a black hole, meaning that we can actually get information from there. Once you cross the event horizon, no information can be obtained. Now, one of this based on the best fits that we're able to get, it says that one of these objects is about five solar masses, well above the uh, limit for a a neutron star. So if something is five solar masses uh, compacted down, there's nothing else that it can be other than a black hole. The other one seems to have a smaller mass that about three times the mass of the sun or less than that. That is definitely in the candidate range for a neutron star. A neutron star will have a mass of a couple of solar masses. And so this is a good candidate for a neutron star. But of course, there is some uncertainty there. So it could have been two black holes, for example, as you could get a black hole with a mass of just a couple of solar masses as well. So as we study more of these and are able to study things with more uh, detail, we hopefully will be able to learn more about this type of event. And in this case, we do see the uh, simulation of what might have happened long ago that gave us this gravitational wave event that was detected just a few weeks ago. So that was our picture of the day for September the 3rd of 2019. It was titled Unusual Signal Suggests Neutron Star Destroyed by Black Hole. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Spider versus Fly. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.